Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Janet Jekyll Bates, and it is Sunday, April the 12th, 2020. Today is Easter Sunday, so happy Easter, wherever it is that you are in the world. Whatever time of day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever it is you guys are watching this video. Welcome, and um, I'm going to try and, I don't want to say blow through this as fast as I can, but we have... A whole lot of bad weather coming our way today, so it's going to be an active morning for all of us uh, and afternoon and evening. So I've got some cool stuff to show you guys, as usual. Uh, thanks for viewing the... Thanks for giving a view. And let's get into it. So you can see that there's a bunch of different stuff. All of these are original wiggle warts in various stages, and we'll start with this magwort. Um, this is part of an 11 piece um, that was sent in by Andy and we've got this really cool magwort. Now this is a hatch match, well color match, not a hatch match. It's a color match that he asked for um, with a little bit of white up into this tan shouldered and real deep color with red eyes and a crawfish. So that's what we gave him. These have come off of two days of curing. And these were the last three in this piece. I had everything else all set, ready to go. And then I realized he'd never sent me the picture of the original work colors that he wanted me to match. So we went ahead and did that. And these will be shipping out tomorrow, today being Sunday. And one more of these guys down here. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and bring this into screen. Um, he sent all of the blanks and the wiggle warts that he wanted for me to repaint. With these, I normally don't do um, the knockoff ploppers, only because the tail assembly is, is not real good on a lot of these, and the plastic is a little bit inferior. These will still swim but they will break a lot sooner than the regular ones. The other thing is he did not send me the eyes and because I don't do these on a regular basis, I didn't have the eyes in stock. So in a pinch, if you ever get into that situation where you don't have the eyes for the originals, uh, the blanks that are sent, you can get away with, these are 3.5 millimeter eyes, just so you know, and they fit in the very back of this. So there you have it. It actually looks pretty decent when you are looking at this thing head on. It looks like it's supposed to be in there and you can see that little groove that goes forward when you angle it. But overall, it will work in a pinch. So we did that on all of them. I gave him a regular rat. This is like the brown mouse version. And then I did a red wing blackbird, just the colors of the red wing on the red wing blackbird with some spots on it black underbelly and then ended up doing just the the normal like a uh, sexy shad type pattern with some heavy glitter on the top now obviously because it's not a darker color you can more prominently see that these are not the, the eyes that should have matched but usually when you get these blanks they come with I, I would imagine maybe they don't I don't know because I've never ordered them um, they have eyes that are set specifically to go along with these and if, if my customers don't ship them to me I don't have these on stock because I never order these blanks I only I only um, I only deal with the real whopper ploppers which have round eyes this is another one now this one is a regular eyed one this is a seven millimeter also a replica but it's these are made a little bit better than these these I'm not saying they're horrible um, but just the tests that have happened over over the last few months these have a tendency to fall apart in their tail assembly um, frequently so just buyer beware I'll paint them if I'm paid to do it I prefer not to um, and I usually prefer to know what I'm getting into instead of just getting a box in the mail this is an orange gill, the orange crush. And then I've got some wintergreen spooks for him. It's that green sunfish. Uh, 
And also with these, these are replicas as well. Um, and these take, I want to say a 7.5 because this is a 7, it's too small. This is an 8.5, which are the regular sizes, and that's just a tad too big. So, always important for me to know. And usually, if it's a blank situation, I'll normally have stuff on stock that I have eyes to match for. This is just one of those crazy situations where I got sent a box full of stuff and said, here's what I want. Um, and I got cash with it, which I don't normally do, but for this one customer, I will. Um, so it, it's just one of those situations where love my customers, but I really need to know what I'm getting into ahead of time. And that's an ongoing thing. So hopefully that will be alleviated for next time. This, um, I cut a new uh, cross stencil on this one. And this goes back to the creature feature from uh, Anarchy UK stencils that I got at the end of January. So I've been using those pretty heavily along with um, Russ Allen's stuff lately. I've really been getting into the, the stenciling. And a lot of you guys have too. I, I see this, uh, this creature feature on everything these days. Everybody's using these. And they're good. They're, they're, they really represent a, a good modeling pattern especially for craws because craws a lot of them have that raised bump on their shell so this is just a good way to represent that and I'm seeing a lot of folks do this anymore um, on their on their patterns so very cool um, gotta give Brian a shout out for sending that stuff to me back in January um, was very appreciative of it and have been using it ever since and this belongs to his repertoire of stencils so there you have it, except while well, the craw um, segments are my own hand cut. So I do a lot of my own. You guys probably know that if you're used to seeing me on the channel. I do a lot of my own hand cut stencils. These little guys, I've got two very similar versions of the Spring River Craw. I've got one with these orange eyes and one with the plain white a little bit more natural looking craws for what you'd see this time of year. And then we've got these copper craws. Also pre-wrap warts. Now one thing I will say about this. Normally I do not. I'll wrap the bill if they want it clear but there was so much junk paint on these. Like I don't, uh, the spray session that I did a while back on that black and orange that I turned into this. It was caked with crap. It had been painted a bunch of times and sometimes you just cannot get the old paint off of the bills. So I didn't even make the attempt to on these particular ones because they're gonna they're gonna swim real good. Um, I didn't want to take any of the uh, original wiggle wart logo off of the bill but the before and after pictures this was just junk caked with paint and I scraped as much of it as I could off um, but he wanted these clear so I left them alone and just painted exactly over the existing junk paint that was on there so normally I do a much better job at detailing and masking or I'll add like these I'll add that craw arm stencil on these in particular. So last but not least, I've got this Argyle Racer on this dinger pressing of the S-Crank. And it's, you know, I have to give a shout out to Brian real quick because on his birthday, I placed a small order of D65s, the longer bill. I've got a client that wanted like three or four of them and then I ordered a couple extra. And in turn, unexpected, he ended up sending me a bunch of S's, which was wonderful. Um, I know that he knows that all of us small business people, including himself, I'm sure right now, are probably struggling with the job situation and everything that's happening today in, in, uh, all over the country and world. But for him to, out of the goodness of his heart and on his birthday, sent me extra stuff well, I can't, um, I can't sing his praises enough. Actions speak louder than words, and um, he's always a man of his word and actions. 
So you guys have a fantastic Easter. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for spending a little bit of time on this Easter Sunday morning. Oh, I don't know if I've showed this or not. I think maybe I did. I think I did. Yeah, you guys have seen this. Anyways, take care. Happy Easter. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.